In this section I want to talk about file history and I want to show you how you can use file history to back up your files and folders to a network location. And actually network location is the best place to uh, you know, back up your files and folders. First of all, I want to show you file history on Windows 8. That's because they are both the same. You can see the file history window it is located in control panel so if you go to control panel and click on file history this window is going to open and this is exactly the same as what you see in windows 10. Uh, why i am showing you this pane uh, while we are not going to work with windows 8 that's because i have enabled file history uh, if i go to control panel and click on file history here you can see that I have enabled file history and disabled it again uh, in previous sessions that's because I needed some backup from fi some files but here it's a little different from what you see on your own system okay that's okay I want to show you everything here before working with file history I need to make sure that a service is running or at least it can be run manually so I can go and right click on the start menu go to control panel from here I need to click on administrative tools and here the services window is located click on services and by opening that scroll down uh, until you can find volume shadow copy service and that's here volume shadow copy service if I double click on that uh, it doesn't matter if it is working or it is stopped what you need to make sure is this you need to make sure that the startup type is manual or automatic uh, you do not want it to be disabled or automatic delayed start these two are not okay automatic or manual is okay for this service so if it is stopped that's okay that's because it is not going to be used and uh, this is not you know using with uh, system resources if it is starting and if it is working that's okay that means that your volume shadow copy is uh, you know backing up your files or folders so just selecting the correct startup type is okay in this window click on cancel and I want to click the services window and administrative tools window again uh, so I can click on file history and this will open file history window for me now I need to have some settings before starting to back up my files first of all I want to go to advanced settings click on advanced settings as you can see you can copy your files on a daily basis this is because it is going to work automatically for you so you need to select one of these items I want to select daily and this will enable my backup to run daily but if you have uh, you know a lot of files that you modify them or add or remove them uh, you know too too much I mean um, they are uh, modified too uh, too often you need to select a smaller you know time step from here time 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 uh, window from here for example 10 minutes 15 minutes or an hour this is uh, your choice an hour is a default but I have selected to have the daily uh, backup now you need to select how much of your disk space is going to be used for uh, your backup files so again if you backup too often you need to select uh, more disk space for example 20 percent but if you do not backup too often you can select the least amount that is two percent and again five percent is the default disk space now you can keep uh, the different versions of your files and as you can see uh, one year is default but I have selected to have it forever so what does it mean why would I you know have the copies of files and folders forever uh, I may you know want to go back to my previous version in a later time so I have selected to have it forever but you may be in a situation that you know uh, you, you, you do not need your uh, files older than a year or two year or even three months so you can select to remove all of those files and folders and that are older than this uh, time uh, I just select forever but as you can see although I have selected forever 
I can go and click on clean up version at any time and remove my files that are older than these uh, time ranges okay so I cancel this out and I click on cancel again that's because I have made no changes to that so I can go and exclude some folders that I do not need to uh, have a backup from them as you can see by clicking on add I can go and select the folder that I uh, would not like to have a backup from them for example I do not want to have a backup from my uh, program data or photos or anything for example I have selected photos I click on select folder and that's here if I want to remove it I can just select it and remove it from this list but uh, these uh, locations C Windows C program files, C program files x86 and C program data these are not necessary to have a backup from them you know uh, these are system files and whenever they are corrupt you need to make some changes to your system using for example system file checker or uh, system image backup so I have selected these folders and I uh, recommend you to select these folders too and click on save changes now I can select a place to store my backup in that and this place must be a network location or at least a location on your uh, system that is shared if I go to drive the I can see that you can see that of course I, I know that uh, you can see that there is a folder here I have so I created this folder and named it backup and I have shared this folder so uh, if I want to reach to this backup folder I need to type client 10 backslash backup so I go and click on select drive and click on add network location go to client 10 and select the backup folder and that's it uh, I just cancel this up that's because I have selected this previously and if I click on that I can even see an existing backup on that but here is the, the most important part you need to select the folder on your network or uh, at least the place on your system that is uh, shared again uh, I, I want to and um, you know uh, what, what does this uh, what, what is it I, I have just you know uh, forgotten the word that I need to I want to need to uh, I, I want you uh, I, I want to emphasize that this is a slip of tongue I want to emphasize that this should be on a network share or at least make sure that you you copy these files to a DVD or flash memory or whatever uh, you do not want to have it on your system backup should not be on your system it, will, it, it should be somewhere else so I select this and click on OK now I have a place it tells me do you want to use this drive for file history again that's OK for me that's because I want to use this by my file history now that I have selected I can go and click on run now at any time and run my backup if I click on this backup it will uh, take some time and that's based on the amount of data that I am backing up and whenever it is finished I can see that the stop is uh, you know disappeared and run now again appears here so I need to wait for some time here and that's it you can see run now appears here that means that the the previous uh, backup has been successful so that means to go to backup folder and see the contents of that if I go to backup folder I can see my own username and if I go to this username I can see the computer name clicking on that I can see data and configuration and I'm interested in data I click on data this is drive C under drive C this is a user folder click on users this is again my username and under that I can see different parts for example my documents that are backed up here and if I go back I can select my pictures that are backed up for example the scene folder that is under the picture folder and this is my backup again I need to make sure that I, uh, I back up these uh, to a network location or to a DVD drive or flash memory somewhere else if I go to my configuration again I can see some catalogs 
from my system configuration I can now back them up too. That's it. Uh, now you have a backup. So how can you restore your files from your backup? Assuming that one of these files have been removed or changed or something like this, I can go uh, to different places to restore my files and folders. One of the places is here. I go to restore personal file under file history. If I click on that, uh, I can see different backups from my system. As you can see, this is the last backup that I have. Three minutes. Uh, um, three minutes uh, ago. Uh, so I can see different folders on my system. You can see it is nine items. I can go to my documents and see the contents of this. Select one of them, for example this, and I can right click on that and click on preview. This will show everything under that. I can go back and select again a folder and how. Uh, if you're okay with that, you can go to this and you can see that it gives me the ability to restore to original location by clicking on that I can see next version of file that's because if I have multiple versions of a file I can see them and if I want to see previous version of that that's here now this is one of the places again if I click on restore the original to original location it will be restored to my original location by clicking on that you can see that it tells me um, I, I have the folder there, do I want to replace it, do I want to skip some of those files, or do I want to decide for each file under this folder. I can just click on replace and get going. That's it. I'm not going to restore it, I just want to show you. This is one of the places that you can restore or see different versions of files. If I go to one of these folders, for example, drive C, under documents, if I click on documents, I can go to one of these files, for example, this file, or of course I can go to folder level, click on properties, and uh, see previous versions here. Now you can see that this is the second place that I can see previous version of a file in that. Now I want to show you something. Let me right click here, create a new text document. This is my text document. Uh, the name is going to be a new text document. That's okay for me. I want to open it and type something. For example, my name. Okay? This is my name. I save it. And now that I have saved it, I go to file history and run the backup. Okay, I have a backup from my file and folders. Let me... Uh, that's it. Okay. Now... If I right click on new text document and go to properties and go to previous version, I only have one version of this file. That's the original version actually, because I have not made anything, uh, any changes to that. I can click on that, click on open, and see the content. Now, I close this, open the file again, and make some changes. Here I type my name is Muhammad Imani. So I save it, close it, again go to file history and run it. Run backup. Now you can see that it is finished. Now if I right click on my file and go to properties and go to previous version, I can see two different versions of my file. One of them is older than the other. I can go to older one, click on open, and this is the older version of my file. I can go to the newer one, click on open, and see the contents of the new file. You can see I have different versions here. Now if I want to restore one of these, I can just select it and go to restore. Here I have the ability to restore it to the original place or restore it to another place. And of course, here again I have the ability to open this or open this in file history. If I click on open this in file history, this window, you saw this window previously, opens for you. If I want to see previous version of that, I can just click on this. This is the previous version. This is the next version. And if I want to restore it, this is the button that I need to click on that. Now, you know everything about file history and that's going to be at your service.